Hello students, welcome to the class. So today we are going to discuss about electric current. In previous sessions, we have discussed the importance of electric current, the voltages, batteries and why we require them to run our systems. So today we will discuss in detail about electric current, how to use them, what is their physical appearance and what are, what are the mathematical expressions. So let us begin with our discussion. We will discuss first thing about the basis of everything. The basis of current is charges. Which charges normally we get in electric wire? Those are electrons. And what is charge on electron? They are negatively charged particles. So when negatively charged particles move, we get current inside conductor. But only negative charges are not the only thing which we have. We have positive charges and we have negative charges. So let us discuss the properties of the charges. So they follow the universal law. What is the universal law? If we have like charges, then they repel each other. If we have unlike charges, say we have one positive charge and one negative charge. So what will happen? There will be force of attraction. So when they are closer, they become attracted. Similarly, we have something for unlike charges. Similarly, we have like charges where two negative charges are getting repelled. If we have two positive charges coming together, they will also get a repulsive force. So these are the forces in charges. Let us discuss these forces in more detail. What are objects are present in the universe, on planet earth or anywhere in surrounding experiences some kind of force on each other. If there is a single object without any additional force, then also there will be gravitational force. Without gravitational force, nothing can exist on the surface of earth. Probably we may float in the space if there is no gravitational force. But every object in the space, in the planet or on the earth have some kind of force. This force may be attractive or repulsive, but there is a force. So what is force which we are concerned with? We are concerned with electric force. It is denoted by capital E. It is called as electric field. And every charge exerts some kind of electric field on another charge. Here you can see we have same positive and negative charge. Around charges, there are lines of forces. They are applying force in all the directions. And then we can see these lines are perpendicular to the, the sphere. We consider electrons at, as very minute points. We cannot see them. But if there is a point and if we zoom out and if we imagine their shape, what will be the shape of that particular electron or charge? It will be spherical shape like a sun. What sun do? Sun radiates the energy in all the direction. So that energy we take and we get life due to that ener energy. Similarly, all the charges, they have some force line. For positive, the force lines go outward. For negative, the force lines goes inward. That's why when positive and negative charge comes closer, they get attracted with each other. So this positive is exerting some force towards negative and negative is receiving that force. That's why they are getting more attracted. In similar way, everything is connected. For everything on this planet, we have some kind of force of attraction. So let us discuss this with another example. So what we are talking about? We are talking about, say, some electric field. This electric field we are denoting by capital E. All the charges, they apply this electric field in the surrounding region. That is the force. The simple meaning of field. What is simple meaning of field? Field is any place where number of forces working together for achieving a particular task. We can call a ground as a field, a field of cricket, field of football, where number of players work together to achieve something. Any place, this classroom, is example of field of knowledge. 
where I'm applying my force to explain you. You are applying your force to understand the things. So any place where number of forces are working together can be termed as a field. So we are talking about electric field, which is nothing but the forces that attach the things or that detach the thing. So this force in electric field is given by Coulomb's law and denoted by say capital F. This is based on the Newton's law of two objects. What Newton stated? If there are two objects, one and two, these two objects, two masses are attached with some kind of force. Again, this force may be attractive or repulsive. How he gave that particular force? All the things in universe are attached with some kind of force. And that formula he gave that it will be product of the masses m1, m2 and it will be square distance between them. So on similar line, the force between two charges say q1 and q2 we can give by Coulomb's law it states that this force is proportional to the product of charges. So we have two charges here say q1 and q2 and it will, it will be inversely proportional to the square distance between them. If we imagine that the distance between these two charges is say r. So it will become r square. So this is force between two charges. It's similar to the Newton's law. So this is your first question in assignment. So in given link you have to draw this diagram and you have to explain this expression and upload the image. Next question we will see while discussion. So we will move ahead. So in last class we have discussed about the charges and current flow. So whenever we apply a battery, we get flow of charges and if there is a closed path, we get the bulb as glowing. So this is a closed, closed circuit we have discussed in previous session. Then now we will discuss about the supply. Is having only current or electron is sufficient? If I have conductor or wire, then can I get the conduction? So we will see example of the wires. So suppose I have open wires. So these are the patches of wires. For connecting we use these wires in lab. So suppose I am taking out one particular wire. So in that wire we have conductor. So if conductors are there, there are plenty of electrons for conduction. But can I get current on the both ends of wire? We cannot get because we require some kind of driving force. Someone should give direction to those electrons. Someone should make move those electrons. What will be that driving force? That driving force is voltage. If I want to flow the current, I have to apply the voltage and who can control the current we have resistance to control the current so it can stop reduce the speed of current so this is what we have discussed and we are connecting it with today's session so let us discuss about next parameter so here we will we will post few question and we will try to find out the answers about electric current First thing, why do electrons move in specified direction only? Then in which direction do the electrons move? Do the electrons accelerate cont continuously? Do they move with constant speed? So these are the things what we have to understand about the current. So let us discuss about them. So first thing, as I showed you the wire, there are electrons. How they move inside the wire? When there is no driving force, when there is no additional battery, these electrons, they are free to move randomly. They do not move in a particular direction. They randomly move inside the conductor. So there may be plenty of electrons. We are taking example of say three electrons here. And what they will do? They will keep on moving inside the conductor in random way. And what is there inside conductor? There are atoms. Everything have atoms, you, me, everything. So these basic element atom, they 
have charges and what is the structure in in the conductor there is lattice all of them are connected with some kind of lattice structure and among that lattice structure these electrons move when when there is no supply and when they can get the ordered motion what was our one of the question that how what will be the direction and will they move in that particular direction and particular thing there are two scientists drood and lorentz they propose that conductors like metals have large number of free electrons and they move among the positive remaining ions so when there are positively charged lattice ions electrons get repelled they don't go and attach to them they move in the remaining passage and if it is a supply voltage then what will happen there will be ordered motion of electrons if we connect one place with positive charge positive terminal of battery another end with negative terminal then we get the movement of electrons across that particular lattice so that is ordered thing now when electrons are moving that means they have the velocity so here we get the concept of drift velocity what is the meaning of drift drift means someone is giving them direction forcefully say i have positive ion electron is coming towards it but is giving him direction according to the force lines we get a force line electric force from the battery the electric field it gives it the direction and it moves with some kind of velocity that velocity we term as drift velocity so what happens in drift velocity so again we have the structure where electrons may move and again we can see that they have a velocity among these lattice they have particular velocity we will see the expression for these velocities we will see all the expressions related to current what we have discussed so far say so first how to represent current mathematically the first thing what we have discussed earlier was about the ohms law so what was ohms law it related the current with voltage and resistance so if i have voltage i have resistance and i have current what i can do i can relate them with ohms law what it states current is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance that is nothing but the ohms law second expression related to current we will see in terms of the velocity so what is the unit of current the unit of current is amperes it is named after the scientist we'll discuss about scientist also as we get uh, relevance reference then what is the second expression we have to remember about current is about the charges what is current current is movement of charges what are the charges in conductor electrons so how many number of electrons are moving that will decide the amount of current if we get more number of electrons we can say there is more current if less number of electrons are moving we can say that there are less current values so here i is directly proportional to the charge q we are representing charge with q so current i is directly related with charge q and it is inversely re related with the time we have seen in the previous slide that charges are moving with time say when it is time zero charge is at position 1 when time is 2 charges are at position 2 uh, another position and key their position is continuously changing so what is happening as time is increasing the current value at that particular position is decreasing so the definition of current if we want to see it physically we will see a diagram and we will try to see the number of charges in that 